Now, if you're a dog owner and think your pet understands every word you say, then a new study from the UK shows that you're right. Almost. Researchers found that while dogs don't necessarily understand the words being said, they do know what we say and how we say it and who is saying it. We're here to give us his experience of canines and commands is dog trainer Steve Austin. So, Steve, we heard a little bit from her first of all, but Hi, who's Ross. your friend? This is Missy. <laughs> yep. uh, she's a working English Springer. She's a three-year-old female and she's a scent detection dog and she's very good at what she does. So is this news to you that dogs might not understand the words that, you're, that you use, but they can certainly understand the meaning? The, exactly. The body language of what the dog does and the body language of what you do is paramount in training. So I've been training my dogs now on body language actions for mm. uh, ever and a day. And a, a good example already is the jacket. Now, once yeah. I put the jacket on, that's one of her cues to start work. Mm. Another body language action is the tennis ball. She dies for the tennis ball. She loves the tennis ball. Yes. So then I start saying some cues in my body language. Even the clothes that I wear will tell her what we're going to do. So body language on both our, both our parts is mm. critical in training a dog. Missy is a working dog. For mm -hmm. people at home who have their dogs simply as, as pets, Sure. how much of it also is tone of voice? Is that key? I, th I think the tone of voice is very important. Uh, I think the c calmer you are, the quieter you are, and the less you talk, the more the dog understands it. Okay. The more you, you, you scream and yell and shout at the dog, the yeah. more the dog just shuts down. And, and your tone is equal to your body, you know, your body position. For example, if I stand over a dog like this, you know, that can intimidate her. But if I just drop my eyes, say, come on, girl, that's my girl. That's a good girl. And just be nice and quiet and be a little bit more submissive in yeah. my actions to my pet dogs in particular, you get a lot more response from the dog. Doesn't matter how old a dog is, do you have to start training them from a very young age? No, no. We get dogs from you know, rescue groups of pounds, etc. We get them at two and three years of age. Mm. And but we, what we do do is that we say to the dog, you are now eight weeks of age, and we do the training procedure as an eight-week-old puppy. So you can teach uh, an old dog new tricks? I'm living example of that, Ros. <laughs> So how much work does uh, Missy do? Out well, in she's, the field? Um, she's on a, um, uh, a test with Department of Primary Industries in Victoria. And also um, we took her down to Hobart Wheat, mm. a big conference down there, and she performed very well. So it's a bit of a feasibility study to see if these dogs can be trained to find noxious weeds that grow in our countryside. She's very good at it so far, and we're just about ready to put her into the field now. OK, well, we'll have a, a little uh, demonstration of that in a moment. But Good. first, what about the, the dog breed, Springer Spaniels? We mm. used to have a Springer Spaniel. They're, they're sure. lovely dogs. They're great dogs. Easy Look, to train as well. They as are things. easy to train. They're very, they're very orientated to us as people. Um, there's two types of Spaniels. There's like the, the show type dog and there's the working line dog. Mm. I always take the working line dogs. They're, they're smaller, they're compacter, but more importantly, they've got a, a, a lovely want-to-please scenario, you know. And all she wants in her life is me and the tennis ball and if she's got those two things she does anything she's a very easy woman to please Ross very easy woman <laughs> okay. to please. have you ever met a dog you haven't been able to train Steve um, it was about 15 years ago it was a border terrier I had the little dog for about three or four weeks I could not train it to sit um, I was not too bad of a trainer I don't know what happened, but maybe there was something between us that didn't, but I just couldn't get it. But it's the only one that yeah. I couldn't improve. I didn't get, I can't get all dogs to do great things, but I can always improve their dog. But only one beat me, Ross. Okay, all right. Mm. Well, let's do this experiment. Okay, right sure, now. sure. Steve, we've got some hawkweed, we which have, is the yep. noxious weed, which that is a noxious um, weed, yep. Missy is trained to find. If you can cover her eyes, oh, let us see. Okay. Hold the, show the tennis ball or something okay. so she doesn't see. And we're going to hide this uh, around the back of the set. Here, I'll just pop it down. We have dog cam, Greg on camera, who's following what's going on. And I'll come back to okay. where Missy is and, uh, and I'll just say explain the magic. to us what Missy's going to do before okay, well, she does it, Greg. Well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll cure on to the job yep. with certain words and certain actions. And then I'll tell her to F-I-N-D, right, and because off she go. When she finds it, hopefully, she'll put a nose on it and she'll hold that position until I give her a release command, or what's called a, a bridge, which mm -hmm. it's, it's, the, it's the word Y-E-S, mm -hmm. and then she gets her reward, right, which is the play of the tennis ball. Okay. So, Let's better, better if I show than talk. Okay? Absolutely. Here we go. So we'll take the lead off. With the ball. So the magic word is, where's a weed? Hey, where's a weed? Weed? Fine. <laughs> 
Here Off go. she goes. Here. Here we go. Good girl. <laughs> now. Has she got it? Yeah, she's got going to move on. Oh, look at that. Straight to it. Show me. Show me, girl. Show me. Yes, good girl. And Very then she gets excited. the tennis ball. And that's the first time young Missy's ever worked oh, in a TV studio. And what a job she's done. <laughs> Here, girl. Get rid of some Missy, of the Missy dust coming. around the back so of the set, So then what too. we do then, we give her another little reward. Good girl, you ready? Good girl, yes. Plenty of rewards. Fantastic. Good Slippy girl. grass. Plenty not of what you normally get. Good girl. <laughs> and like you say, Great, she Steve. will do that all day long. That's right. How long did it take to train Missy to do that very quickly? Um, she gets uh, probably, this is about three to six months work, you see here, you know, to do it in the field and to get it right like that. Um, I think she's done very well today in the studio, but she's much more comfortable in the field. You know? Oh, amazing. Steve Austin, thank you so much for bringing Missy in and showing us what she can do. Thank you very much, Ross. Thanks.